Good morning. Good morning. Welcome in. This is going to be a weekend reading. Okay. Let's see what comes out for you guys. Okay. All beings of the greatest, highest, white light, most high. What message do you have for me to give to the collective? What message do you have for me to give to the collective? Weekend reading. Weekend reading for the collective. Weekend reading for the collective. Alright, let's see what comes out for you guys. Okay. Okay, Ten Pentacles in the reverse. All right. Um, I feel like um, you may have been investing in an offer, okay? Whatever offer you were investing in, um, it wasn't working out, okay? If you were in a commitment, you chose, you chose to let it go. Ten Pentacles in the reverse, okay? And with the Six of Wands, I feel like you're going after your victory in another um, area. I feel like this is um, led by Spirit, okay? Spirit is guiding you to move away from this Ten of Pentacles situation. Now, this Ten of Pentacles situation could have been a job. It could have been um, a relationship that you were investing in. Okay, but with the Magician in reverse, um, it just was not a vibrational match for you. It wasn't meeting your standards. Um, someone wasn't fully equipped or not just on a vibrational level as you are, okay? And you decided that you would not um, be victorious in that type of situation. So with the hanged man, the high priestess, um, the hanged man in reverse, you gain the enlightenment you need to be able to um, move in a different direction, okay? I feel like you are listening to your intuition at this time. And um, maybe the person you were dealing with, with the nine of pentacles in the reverse, um, this person wasn't quite balanced out, okay? They were not able to give to you financially um, as if the way that you would have wanted. Hold on one second. I'm going to cut it off. Yeah, it's like someone wasn't able to give to the connection the way that you wanted. Um, I feel like the person I'm speaking with, the people I'm speaking with at this time, you've done a lot of work on yourself. You've done a lot of healing, okay? And you were not willing. Look, victory at the bottom of the deck, okay? You were not willing to um, settle, okay? You did not want to settle, all right? You know that there's better out there for you. And so you decided that um, it was time for you to get on your horse and move in a new direction. What you came across was not what you manifested, okay? And you chose to honor your higher self. You honored the most high, okay? And you listened to your intuition with the high priestess energy, all right? I'm feeling like the high priestess is you. Now, you could be a um, Pisces or you could be a Virgo, okay? Or you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all right? Um, or dealing with that energy, okay? I think this is going to be a reading for the Aries, okay? This is going to be an Aries weekend reading. Clarify Ten of Pentacles spirit. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there was some conflict, okay, with the Five of Wands, all right? There was some conflict, all right? Clarify, clarify Six of Wands. Yeah, so you are with the full card. You're moving in a new direction. There you are, Aries. You're moving in a new direction to find victory somewhere else. Um, I feel like there were some differences in whatever this job was, whatever this contract was. There were some differences that you just could not um, ignore. There were some red flags that you just could not ignore, okay? I'm feeling like whatever you were dealing with, whether this was a job setting or this was a relationship setting or something within the family, okay? There were some red flags going off. And um, you chose to honor them. You chose to listen to your intuition this time. I think in the past you may hes have hesitated um, in listening to your intuition. But I believe this time you are trusting yourself fully. And you are deciding to leap in another direction. Clarify the magician in reverse spirit. Page of swords in the reverse. Okay. I feel like this person just was not um, a vibrational match. Okay. Um, they were a page. Okay. They were... Um, they could have been immature or they just could have just not been as aware or as spiritually inclined as you are, okay? Um, if this is a job situation, I feel like they may have lied to you about the um, circumstances around uh, surrounding the contract, surrounding confirmation with the dean, 
surrounding um, possibly like what the benefits package would be, uh, what your compensation would be. Something just was not coming to light the way that maybe they spoke of or, or the way you anticipated. Clarify the hangman in reverse. Clarify the hangman in reverse, spirit. We have the strength card, okay? I feel like you gained your courage, you gained your backbone, you gained your strength. I feel like you know that there is better out there. You are a confident person, and I feel like you know that um, you can take your skill set somewhere else and have victory. I feel like um, you definitely know that you can have victory and, and, and you, that you will overcome any challenges because of the... the the skills, the um, the knowledge, the understanding that you bring to the relationship or not just the relationship, but to the business structure. OK, um, I feel like, you know, that you can grow and be have strength somewhere else like you can have longevity somewhere else. Clarify the high priestess, clarify the high priestess spirit. We have Ten of Cups in the reverse. I feel like this, you knew that maybe this person was not going to pour into a situation um, the way that you would. Someone was not going to be able to commit emotionally or match you um, at the level that you present, at the level that you um, protrude, at the level or vibration that you're on. Ten of Cups in the reverse. There was no emotional fulfillment, okay? Whatever this was, it may have, like, the money might have been good at one point, but then again, no, I don't even think the money was good. The money wasn't good and the love wasn't good. The, it was not a match. Something was not a match for you. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like the financial status of this person was not up to par, okay? And if it wasn't the person, like I said, it was a job contract. Whatever this contract was, it was not what it appeared to be when you first went in, okay? And then so you decided, you know what? I'm going to pull back, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and go in a new direction with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You're going after your wish fulfillment here, okay? All right, Aries, this has been your weekend reading. All right, I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. What's going on, Leo? Leo, this is going to be your quickie weekend reading, okay? Um, we're going to see what comes out in the cards for you. Give me one second, and I'll shoot you guys some sage. There you go. There you go, Leo. I hope you guys got big plans for the weekend, okay? All right, let's see what comes out. It's going to be a little mini six card spread. Okay, and then I will clarify for you. All right, so let's get off into that thing. Weekend reading for Leo. That shot out fast. What is this? The star. Leo, you have um, wish fulfillment coming in. Okay, or if it's not wish fulfillment, Leo, you are headed in the North Star direction. You are following your dreams, your hopes, your desires at this time. The lovers in reverse, I feel like you could also be healing from a situation, okay? If you had to let a lover go, all right? The lovers in reverse, clear, uh, not clarify, but what else, Spirit? All beings of the greatest, highest white light. I'm sorry, you guys. I just did an Aries reading, so I know they're here. I beseech you at this time, what message do you have for Leo? Weekend reading. Thank you, Spirit. We have Page of Swords. I feel like you're going to be uh, focused on your studies, maybe gathering some more information at this time, um, to maybe even uh, thinking about speaking to somebody else. Nine of Swords, okay? You could be in regret about something, okay? Leo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart. You might have had to let go of a Gemini, possibly, okay? But I feel like something came out, okay? There was some information, a truth that was spoken, okay? Nine of Swords. It, it put you in a place of restlessness. A Leo spirit. Four of Pentacles, okay? So Four of Pentacles lets me know that you are not wanting to let go or you are holding back. I feel like you could be... Um, Focusing on your on your on your finances at this time. 
Okay, if this is a career situation, I feel like um, you're shining brightly in your job. Okay, now you might have not got chosen for a particular um, maybe advancement. Okay, but um, just wait. There's going to be some communication coming in. Okay, I feel like um, possibly the person that they chose, they're going to end up... Um, they're going to end up choosing someone else. Okay, and that someone else could be you, Leo. If this is a job situation, okay. Now um, I'm feeling like whoever they chose didn't it didn't work out, okay. Now if this is love, same thing. You chose to um, pull back from someone, okay, because there was a truth that was spoken and it put you in a place of restlessness, okay. It made you uneasy, so you decided to uh, pull pull back or hold back from this um, making an offer, okay. Um, now. Leo, if this is a job situation, I do feel like you probably, um, you might have missed an opportunity here, Leo. Okay, I'm just going to keep it real. Yeah, with the full and the reverse at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you may have missed an opportunity here. You may have not have taken action when you should have. Okay, Leo, um, I'm feeling like the opportunity may come back around. Okay, after some things get illuminated. All right, um, let's clarify. For Leo spirit, what message do you have for Leo? I'm getting like slow and steady wins the race type of energy. Okay, let's see what comes out. Clarify the star card for Leo. Clarify the star card for Leo spirit. Clarify the star card for Leo. Yeah, the hanged man. Um, I'm really feeling like you might have missed an opportunity here. Okay, Leo. I feel like um, you're needing to take a time out here. There's something you weren't seeing clearly. Clarify the lovers in reverse. We have four swords. Yeah, you needed to do some self-reflecting here, Leo. There's something that was not, uh, that you weren't seeing clearly at first, okay? Um, page of swords, clarify page of swords, spirit. We have the magician here, okay? So there's something that um, I feel like you manifested, okay? That's going to be coming in. It might be a better offer for you, all right? You could be manifesting some type of communication with someone, all right? Nine of Swords. Clarify Nine of Swords, Spirit. Nine Swords. Why is Nine Swords here? Okay, we have the Devil, all right? Something was toxic, Leo. Something was toxic, and it was keeping you up. Like, you might not have been able to sleep. You might have been having bad dreams. Okay, um, clarify four of pentacles, spirit. Clarify the four of pentacles for Leo. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we have the star in reverse. We have page of cups and we have two of swords. So you're opening up to um, another offer. There is another offer that's coming in. The star in reverse. Something about this, it was negative or it just was not... It wasn't a, in a high vibrational space. I don't think you wanted whatever this was anyway, Leo. Okay? The Four of Wands, Spirit. Clarify the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like with the hair font, you're gonna have um you're gonna have a chance to uh excel, okay, a chance to go um higher, um, but it'll be in another setting, okay? It won't be with this person or it won't be with this job, okay? Um, or this position. Like you're gonna go higher. Spirit has something better for you, okay? That's why this offer didn't come through for you the way that you anticipated. Um, it's because Leo, you are the star, okay? Spirit's going to show you something. Something's going to be illuminated, all right? Uh, but you're needing to go within at this time and do some self-reflecting, all right? I feel like because you have um, maybe been getting over some sort of heartbreak, okay? I feel like you're, going, you're manifesting change here, okay? You're manifesting something greater. You're going to receive it too. Spirit's going to show you why this didn't work out. Why the star in reverse. Okay. Why something didn't go through with an offer. Okay. Um, Leo, this has been your quickie reading. 
what are we leaving this in at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of swords so there's going to be fast movement or some communication that's going to come in pretty quickly for you all right so leo just hang in there okay this has been your weekend reading y'all have a good day bye what's going on sagittarius this is going to be your quickie weekend reading we're just going to peep in and see what's going on for you guys let me get you guys some of this sage there you go Sagi. all right let's see what comes out for you sagittarius holy ancestors holy angels of the highest white light most high what message do you have for me to give to sagittarius Sagittarius, I'm hearing patience is a virtue. And, you know, the temperance card represents your sign, all right? It is Sagittarius. It is Archangel Michael. It is your ancestors. Okay, um, let's see what comes out. Cards are a little heavy. Okay, for Sagittarius, quickie, weekend, reading, spirit, what message do you have? For Sagittarius, quickie, reading, what message do you have? Okay. So what's this first card? We have the full in reverse and we have the emperor. Heavy Aries energy here. Okay. I don't know if you were dealing with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like um, if you were afraid to take a risk in the past, that's no longer the case. I feel like the emperor is taking control. Okay. The emperor is in control. All right. Nine of Cups in the reverse. You could be feeling like you did not receive some type of wish fulfillment here. Okay, Sagittarius. I feel like Spirit is in control of whatever this is. Nine of Wands in the reverse and Eight Swords in the reverse. So you're free from feeling like you are a wounded warrior. I feel like you have you've stepped into your power. You um you're I'm hearing I'm activated. I am. I'm hearing um I mean I'm seeing that Sagittarius, you are an emperor energy here. Okay, emperor or empress, you take it as it resonates. Okay, and I feel like if it's not the ten of cups, you don't want it. I feel like you are not um entertaining the time for foolery. Okay. You've done a lot of work on yourself to free yourself. Yeah, five of swords in the reverse. You are not accepting any lies, okay? Um, if anybody can't come in here and be completely 100% honest with you about their feelings, their emotions, okay? You're not having it. Like, look how you're sitting in the middle of this spread. Like, you're like, look, I'm not, I am the freaking emperor, okay? Or empress. Like, you are not taking any BS. If something don't feel right, I feel like you are listening to your intuition the first time. If something don't look right, I feel like you are listening to that the first time. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands and the reverse of, um, on the cut of this deck and Seven of Swords, if anybody is um, seeming like they're sneaky or reptilian energy, reptilian vibes, like you're not entertaining it, okay? The Emperor, he doesn't play no games. The Emperor is in full, complete control, okay? And it's like you are in control here. You're not trying to be hurt. You're not going for nobody trying to make you be stuck in no type of situation. Um, you are not accepting anybody's lies. You're seeing through all of the time for foolery. Okay? Now, whether this is on the love front or a job front, although I don't see any pinnacles here, so I feel like this could just strictly be about a love or family situation here. I feel like whoever was coming into your world trying to play with you or play with your emotions, nine of cups in the reverse, you're not having it. Okay? Spirit, clarify the fool. Why is the fool card here? Why is the fool card here? Okay, so there was some conflict, okay? Uh, possibly with a risk you were thinking about taking. Something didn't feel right, okay? There was some conflict or confusion, okay? Um, too many people involved in a situation, all right? Or something like that. Clarify the emperor spirit. We have the king of wands. There you are, Sagittarius. King of wands energy, okay? You are being led by spirit at this time. All right, you are in complete control. You are ready to take action. Clarify nine of cups in the reverse. Okay, nine of cups in the reverse. Yeah, look at this. The emperor, nine of swords, and two of cups. It's like...
you're in control. You're not taking. It's like you want love, but you you have love already. It's like you are love. You are the prize. You are abundance. Nine of Swords, like I feel like there could be someone that that is in regret here, or somebody that like tried to do something funny, but they didn't they didn't realize like that you were the emperor. Okay. So nine of cups in the reverse. It's not you that's feeling nine of cups in the reverse. It's this nine of swords person. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Nine of wands in the reverse. Clarify. Why is the nine of wands in the reverse? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's try that again. Clarify why the nine of wands is in reverse, spirit. Why is the nine of wands here in the reverse? Yeah, three of wands in the reverse. I feel like you closed the door. Okay, you close the door on anybody coming in here trying to tap dance and how they say, um, how do they say rain on your parade? Like you're like, nah, 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 nah. I'm going to show out here all by myself. The emperor is here twice. Okay. Now, the other thing I'm seeing is if it's not an, like this could be a same sex relationship. Okay. You might've found out that somebody was actually, um, into the same sex. Okay, and maybe that's something that did not set well with you, Sagittarius. You were like, no, I'm not interested. Okay, yeah, that someone may have actually liked um, men, okay, or women. Take it as it resonates, whoever you are watching this. But I'm seeing like something here with some same sex, and that could have been the nine of swords. Like, no, you, you know, it, it, it made you uncomfortable. It made you uneasy. It made you restless. Like, nah something ain't right here so in order to avoid this nine of wands energy becoming the wounded warrior you decide to close the door on it three of wands in the reverse the door is closed okay clarify the eight swords in the reverse yeah page of swords in the reverse i feel like this person if they were um interested in same-sex relations they did not tell you this okay but i feel like with the emperor emperor you you just know you just know. You're all the kings in one. And you just know. Now, such serious, the other thing I'm picking up, okay, if it's not same sex, is that there is someone else here for you, okay, that you're ready to take action towards, okay? They could be a boss, entrepreneur energy just the way you are, okay? You could, this person, it's like someone could regret losing you is what i'm hearing and they're about to take action towards you sagittarius okay so it's like whatever conflict was in the past that's just what it is it's a thing of the past somebody could feel like you got that fire okay um now page of swords like i said clarifying this eight of swords in the reverse there's some sort of information that came out okay or someone was hiding something that's what it was. It didn't come out. They were hiding something. You just felt this. You knew as the emperor, like something's not right. You weren't stuck in your mind about it, but you knew. It's like you had an intuitive hunch. Okay. Clarify five of swords in the reverse. Yeah. Three of swords. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was trying to hurt you, Sagittarius, and you felt it. You were like, no, this is not... This is not what I'm into. Five of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you blocked it out. Because from the five to the three, that's a two difference. So two of Swords, you block this energy out. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you chose to release. You chose to let go of this connection. Okay, whether it be a job or a relationship or a family member, whatever this energy was, you chose to let it go, Sagittarius. Okay, it was not um, wish fulfillment for you. And so you, you decided not to take action in that direction. But I'm seeing here there is something else going on with the Two of Cups and the Emperor. Um, you might have another suitor coming in or something along those lines. Okay. Someone that may be missing you or regretting not choosing you or something like that, okay? Yeah, that's your been your reading. All right, enjoy. Bye, Sagittarius.